This is a closer look at my system without it playing. I never really shut off my amps or my batteries, but um, right now I'm thinking about making a little like outside um, part that covers up all my amps, like a little cover. That'll make it look a lot cleaner. You know, cut out all the wires and all the amps. You won't see it just to hide it all, make it look like one big box. But um, I gotta get a tape measure and, and measure this shit out and see if I can make a little box around this box just to hide, just to hide all this stuff. But um, this is a closer look at my, my speakers, my subs. Two SCAR subs, 12 inch subs. They're not the most expensive one. I think they're like two, they were 250, 260 bucks, maybe 270. I'm not, I don't remember. They were the, the one right before. They're not the cheapest, but they're not the most expensive. They're like right in the middle. I think it's like 12 or 1300 RMS, these subs. And they're pretty good. I, I like them. I like them for this for the size and the and the the price they, they're they pretty good look how thick the thick the rubber is on them that's how you know like they flex they got double stitched on them i, I was really a, not a skeptic but i didn't like how a lot of people had scars Every, that's like a brand that you see all these people have stickers of scar on their car right but i never really hear nobody's system i never really hear anybody play it so I'm like, I'm kind of skeptical about it, but it actually is good if you hook it up to the right amp and the right speakers. I mean, the, the amp and the right power source, it'll it'll play pretty good in the, in the right box too. So this is a little bass pro box, enough to fit in the middle. Um, the hydraulics, I'm gonna try to go with four batteries, two pumps for now. Um, maybe three pumps or three batteries and two pumps if they can figure out how to fit, fit it in here. I've seen people put crazy shit in here. I've seen people put have a sub box like this in here and have eight batteries, two pumps in there. So I know it could be done. I've seen it. So I'm not too worried about people's opinions about, oh, that box could take up too much room, blah, blah, blah. I like to have my subs, you know, I like to have bass, you know, but I'm gonna take out the spare tires and all this, all that shit is just to weigh it down, make it, give that stance right now. But this, um, this amp, Blay Blau Punk, I really like it. I really enjoy it. It's, it's been giving me, um, isn't enough juice for now. Um, it's not that strong. I hook it up to the speakers. Speakers. Um, it's enough, you know, and the money. It's only 60 bucks, $66 right now. It used to be 59 bucks on Amazon. But, um, four channel amp, you can hook up eight speakers to it if you want to, right? But I hook up four speakers to this one, like the rear, left six by nine, front six and a half, front six and a half, rear six by nine. So, so two, the back six by nines and the front six and a halfs are hooked up to this amp. All my infinity speakers are hooked up to this amp. Might as well show you. That's the infinity six by nine. And um, those two that are up there, six and a half, are hooked up to, to that um, to that amp. And this one, blow punked. It's the same thing. It's hooked up to front left six by nine, front right six by nine, and the middle six by nine. Shit, I got I got one open right here. I can hook this up to whatever. I forgot about this one. I can hook this up to another speaker if I want to. Fuck. Okay. Um, six by nine. I'm pretty sure the four, my four inch speakers are hooked up to this too. Let's see. Yeah, front front four and front six by nine. So I got two speakers hooked up to um, one channel. And um, yeah, and this one is. Sorry if I'm talking a bunch of shit that no one really understands. This one is um, to my subs, and I like—I've been liking this this um, amplifier. It's got a little built-in fan right here, and um, I was a skeptic about this too because it was small. You know, you you always see amps that are fucking huge for subs, but this one's small. Um, 
it's got a couple good reviews and I gave it a shot and it's pretty um it's not cheap but it's it's affordable uh, 200 and something bucks right and 3000 watt RMS one ohm and I wired these two um, 12 inch dual voice coil I think there are two ohms I'm not sure if there are two or four but I did wire them to one ohm um, and it, that gives it enough juice plenty of juice right so I'm pretty happy with it and um, I got two power wires hooked up two grounds to it just to give it you know a solid ground zero gauge wire um, power wire I, I, I kind of rigged it it's a short wire you know to my batteries now this is a um, it's all dusty right it's been I haven't been back here in a minute this is my um, amplifier splitter this is what splits all my amplifiers into how I can have multiple amplifiers. Now what's coming from the uh, the radio is sub, rear, and front. These three RCA channels come from my head unit. My head unit has that option for the sub, the rear, and the front. And all of these other ones are to my other amps. So I can have one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, I can have a shit ton of I have more amp options right I can put a sub amp in here and a front amp in here I got I got a lot of options right everything is hooked up to a fuse there's another fuse right there um, this is a little splitter the power wire split this is zero gauge right here wire hooked up to a capacitor so there's a capacitor back here and these two, two little 600 watt, 600 um, watt um, batteries. Um, just, I mean, I think they were like 50 bucks. I could use a couple juice, you know. Hooked up to my amps. And this is a block shakers, 1400 watts. You know, a couple batteries from my um, for my audio system so my car doesn't die and, I, and I, I beat I play my music all the time to where my batteries should be dead but they're not because I have so many batteries and um, the charging system is pretty good on it under my seat is another Bla blau punk amp under there that I got to fit and that goes to my tweeters and um and my under speakers under my seat the six by nines under here so that's a closer look at my amps and shit i do have a um, relay on it i just me a fucking i put my elbow on the radiator it's my there's uh my relay to it and if you don't, if you're not familiar with a relay, some people learn. I learned about it a couple of years ago. A relay is what separates the front battery, the car battery, to my audio batteries. So when I turn on my car, my headlights, everything that has to do with just my car, my car battery is what functions my car, and this separates my audio batteries from my car battery. So I can. There is at one point. Where I, I jumped myself. I gave myself a jump. All I had to do was connect the positive to the positive on the on the uh, car battery and start the car. And uh, I started my car with my audio batteries <laughs> because my car battery died for some reason. I think I left the light on or something. But yeah, this is what it looks like. There's a zero gauge coming from the alternator, and this is a 220 amp alternator. And um, I got two zero gauges coming from the from the relay to um, fuses and to the back audio batteries. So two zero gauges going to the audio shit. And um, I think I need one more zero gauge from my alternator. I just didn't have one.
I just didn't have the extra one. But it's under here. It's under this sleeve. And, um, yeah, man. This relay needs a ground. This is my ground. And, and then this right here. This is the ground. This right here is what turns it on. Um, you hook it up to an ignition switch or, um, yeah, when you turn it on your car, it'll turn this on. Ignition switch or just like a startup, startup, um, whatever wire you find that turns on when you turn on the car, a fuse or something. Mine's hooked up to the ignition switch, which a lot of shit's hooked up to, like my radio and um, <laughs> then my, um, my color bar in there. So that's like just a closer look at my system. Um, if I would do anything better, more to it, I would, you know, I could upgrade my my alternator. That's a possibility if I want to keep going up, you know. But I, I'm I'm okay with this one. It's not that bad. 220. It's still high output, but there are higher ones. I've seen 240s and shit like that. So so it wouldn't hurt to get you know another higher output alternator um my speakers sound pretty good uh, if anything i could you know i, I I'm, I'm pretty happy with it i got kicker and infinities in here kicker is loud infinity is more of if i take this speaker out it looks like it looks like a sub right it looks it's high quality it's it's a uh, it's expensive as fuck and um it's um it's pretty heavy you know it's like a fucking sub almost and it sounds very clear it's not very um loud the kicker is more loud but this one's more clear and quality wise so i kind of have the best of both worlds in here i got clear and quality and i got loud and, and then i got this those um scar tweeters which make that that gangster shit you know let that let that pop if i want if i want to flex on people i had that option you know all right, guys, just a closer look at my system. Um, and if I'm going to change anything, I'm definitely going to clean up the wires. I'm going to clean it up, make a little out, like a little cover that'll cover up all this, all the wires and amps and stuff. So it looks clean in here because one day um, I will get hydraulics and I will get the pumps and shit. And I'll make it look, I'll make it look a lot cleaner. It's just what it is right now. And it's, it's not bad. It's not, I, you know, you can talk shit if you want. I don't give a fuck, but all gonna change you know i'm gonna take all this shit out i'm gonna need a spot though for for any extra emergency shit like those like those cables i'm gonna need to have like a little box or something in here i could put in here that'll that'll hold some like a jack or a small jack or something just in case because this is a i this is a daily driver you know i, I drive this every day and shit So, um, sorry, somebody just pulled up. Um, yeah, that, that's it. That, that's all. That's all I got right now. Uh, I, I don't think about adding a few more speakers or anything because I kind of like the look of it. Not, you know, the, I, you can see speakers, but I've seen guys put like five or six four you know six by nines in the back window just a bunch of speakers and just off for show really i like to have two speakers back here there's one under that under that um organ pipe but i like to have two speakers back here for people to think that damn are those two speakers really giving out that much power when it's really not that too there's two under my seats that are loud as fuck that you don't really see and then in the front you see all those tweeters and shit and that's where that's where you see all the speakers and stuff so yeah these are these two are hooked up to one channel on the blau blau punk amp and it sounds good right it sounds you can hear it all clear and loud but um i'm always thinking about doing better shit and, and making it sound it better i'm always thinking about making this car better so um before i had one speaker in here <laughs> that's what the radio speaker is is under here so um and this is my that's my bass knob those two amps um amps don't have come with a bass knob so that's a universal that's a universal bass knob and it's been giving me some problems lately because when i would turn it up all the way 
it'll shut off or when i turn it up all the way it'll shut off at one point so i have to have like a little sweet spot right here to where it's a max but when i go to the actual max it'll it'll shut off to 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 nothing so that's the that's the universal uh base knob and that's my head unit that i'm pretty happy with the back of it has those three options um um what's it called rear front rear and sub so I, i'm happy with this shit so if you guys got any tips any any tips tricks any um suggestions on what i could do to to upgrade I, I would greatly appreciate it thanks for checking it out it's close to look at my audio system it's definitely not you know pretty and clean like like how you people picture it to be but it's real you know a lot of people have systems like this where they put it in themselves and it's not you know the cleanest but if something goes wrong i can fix it i don't have to go take it to a shop and stop what i'm doing you know i don't um these shops out here they don't give a fuck about you all they care about is the money that comes out of your fucking pockets they don't give a fuck about you so um i don't like I, I, you know i'd rather i'd rather make mistakes and learn so all right guys peace out